Hi friends, it's Jodie with you today for Hip Kit Club and today we have a special edition of Sketch Friday and that is that all of the design team today are, have been challenged to make cards based on the sketch. Not only that, but to use cut files and fussy cut pieces as well. So the first thing I did before I started making my cards was to have a look through the back catalogue of the cut files on the Hip Kit Club website and I will leave a link to where you can find all of those in the description box below. And I've chosen three cut files that have some kind of a circular element to them so that fits in with the sketch that we're working with today. The first cut file that I chose was actually part of a larger cut file and that's the Magic Subscriber cut file that was part of the March cut files for Hip Kit Club. So I just made a couple of adjustments in my Silhouette Studio software and ended up with just this geometric heart left and I trimmed the rest of the word magic apart from it. I cut the heart once in white cardstock and then used my offset tool to make it slightly larger and then cut that offset area out with purple cardstock. So when it comes to making cards, I'm kind of addicted to using border punches. And what I've done here is use that beautiful Pink Fresh Studio paper. Uh, that's probably one of my favorites out of the July kits. And I've punched a couple of strips out there so that I can tuck those strips in as a border somewhere in between all of my layers. here with the bottom left hand corner of that card which is where the focal point of the sketch is this week and I've pulled out one of the lovely Pink Fresh Studio ephemera pieces but since our challenge this week was to use um, some fussy cut pieces I've decided to get a little painterly with this lovely black and white floral paper and to do that I've Mixed up a few of the colours using the Lindy Stamp Gang Mists that we got in the July colour kit this month. And those colours are Blue Hawaiian Blue and let me see, Hibiscus Rose and the Yellow Rose of Texas. I've also actually pulled out one of the older colours from uh, the March hip kits and that's Cotton Candy Pink as well and that's also a Lindy's Starburst Spray. So I've mixed a few of those up just to get some different colours, some green, some purples and that lighter pink that comes from the cotton candy pink as well. I've dried that off quickly with my heat tool and then fussy cut the floral cluster out. Now if you guys have seen my work before, you know that I am an absolute sucker for any kind of stitching. So I love machine stitching, I love hand embroidery and so of course I've gone for my purple thread to do some back stitching on this card. I've cut most of that out of the video because you know, watching someone do back stitching really isn't that exciting. But um, that's what I did around the edge of that card. And to pierce the holes, as always, what I did was just run the card where I wanted the stitching to go through my sewing machine. I just pulled all of the thread out of the sewing machine and set it on a long stitch at length number four and a straight stitch just to create those holes in the card and make it nice and easy for me to do my stitching. As well as the cluster of flowers that I'd coloured with my Lindy Stamp Gang Mists, I also fussy cut a couple of the plain black and white flowers to tuck in behind that and add some extra interest to that focal point of the card. I'm adhering down all of my elements now and I also add some enamel dots and some crochet thread, just plain white crochet thread that's tied in a bow, there it is, you can see it now, and I decide later on that I 
I'm not really buying it. I don't like it. So even though it's still here on this card now, at the end shots, you'll see that I've taken that off. My second card, I'm using the Laurel Wreath Cut File, and that's from back in January 2019. And that's a subscriber cut file as well. I'm going with a more pink theme to this card and I'm just starting by adhering down that wreath. So just like my first card, I'm using a scalloped edge punch to create a border element for this card. And that's something that I like to do with all of my card sets is to create a similar theme throughout all three, even if they're slightly different. I've also taken that card away now that the wreath has been adhered down and just run it through my machine with regular white thread. And I think I stitched around that wreath actually around three times. By stitching around it those extra few times rather than just once, if there was anywhere that uh, I had gone a bit wonky and it wasn't quite straight if I'd only stitched it once then it would really stand out but if you do it three times and mix your stitching up a little bit it kind of looks a little bit artistic and that's a really good cheat to remember to do. So my idea for fussy cut pieces on this card is to cut out smaller flower pieces from that same black and white paper after I've coloured them in with my mixed media and scatter them all around the wreath. You can see that I've fussy cut some pieces that I've coloured in and also just some plain black and white pieces as well and right about now I decided there's just not quite enough colour on the card so I'm trying some pink little flowers there but I end up not using those and I go for these white and yellow daisies. I decided to add in a couple of die cut cardstock pieces that radiate from the bottom left of the card and that really fits in with the layered circles in the sketch and at the last minute I decided to switch out the bow to a lighter pink ribbon and add a few splatters and that's my second card done. Okay so this is where I go back to my first card now for a minute and you can see that I pulled out that crochet thread that I was saying I just wasn't buying and I've decided to go with a pretty purple ribbon on this one as well and I just tuck it in right underneath that floral cluster and um, give it a good old squeeze of glue to hold that ribbon in place and I'm much happier with that uh, and how it looks now. So I'm on to my third card and my idea originally for this card was to incorporate some of those pieces that I had punched with a circle punch out of my very favourite pattern paper this month. And I fussed around with them for a little while but couldn't get them to work. So I move on and just decide to start playing with the layers and again with my edge punch pieces and layer those together and just see where this card takes me. found for this card was back in the March 2019 cut files and it's a freebie cut file so even if you're not a subscriber to Hip Kit Club you can still log in and as long as you're registered on the Hip Kit Club website you can grab this cut file still for free today and it is just beautiful. I love doilies in any shape and form and this is such a an intricate and lovely little doily cut file. I decided to layer a little bit of purple rack around the border of the doily 
and I actually went out when I saw the August kit reveal um, because oh, I'm so in love with the August kits and they feature a lot of purple tones in them and I went straight out to my local craft store and found this rickrack and I just knew it would be perfect but there's some purple in the July kits as well so hooray I get to use it a little bit early. Again I'm just using my Lindy's Mist to colour a floral cluster there with two different tones of purple and drying it off with my heat tool and I've also stitched around the purple border a few times with my sewing machine and just some regular white cotton thread. And all of my cards really this week stay pretty true to the sketch and they feature similar elements but all are their own individual designs. To finish this card off I add a few purple splatters in two different tones and then off camera I do add just a few enamel dots as well and that's this card and my card trio done. I really love how this card set turned out. Using a sketch as a basis for a card isn't something that you might normally think of, but I really enjoyed the challenge and I think it worked quite well adapting that sketch to these cards. These are a few close-ups and I will leave links in the description box below for the kits that I've used. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you again soon on the Hip Kit Club YouTube channel with another process video. Bye guys!